Hello Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Welcome to, and Venus, welcome to your weekly reading. We have no idea what we're going to get. <laughs> we're going to take five cards. We'll see. We'll see where spirit leads us. And, you know, what they want you to hear right now. This is a brief, short, short, short reading. You know, perfect for coffee time. <laughs> so if you just brewed yourself a cup of coffee, don't worry. We won't be here for long. <laughs> so while you are here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Mash the like button to help this video get out to others that might be in need. And share, share, share this video with others. Thank you. Thank you for those of you that have been ordering extended readings, personal readings, donating to the channel. Thank you very much. If that's of interest to you, there is links down below in the description box. All right. Virgo. Virgo, please. The Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. The universe, or the world, let's take technically the world card. Two of Pentacles. Judgment. Wow, oh my gosh, this is just so beautiful, Virgo. I mean, there is, there is somebody that means the world to you. Or you mean the world to them. Three of Wands. Okay. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So we have the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> There's something about this connection, Virgo, that's making you feel a sense of, um, my apologies, Virgo. I want little Ganesha in here with you. There. <laughs> I don't know why I set the camera up wrong this time. So my apologies, Virgo. So we have somebody that you have a lot of love for. They have a lot of love for you. The Ten of Cups is not one-sided. It's it's dual-sided. Could be a family situation. Uh, no, I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling love. Feeling love. But I'm also feeling that with that Nine of Swords, that there's a sense of worry associated with a love connection. Now, it could be a love connection that came to an end with the universe here. But I feel like to this person, you are their world to you they are your world like the two of you are so intertwined with one another on an emotional connection that you know i don't see the two of you being apart even though you may be physically apart um, so there's no way for me to know if the two of you are together or not could be a long distance relationship i was feeling that as well for some of you now we have the two of coins. This is balanced two of coins. Balance between your rational thinking and you know your emotional nature. Strongs and the infinity symbol showing how you know the depth of the connection. Now, if the two of you have had a problem in the near future, there is going to be a correction of that. That's our that's our forgiveness and atonement card. Now you all, you also may be having to make a decision about this connection. There seems to be a focus on the future and it's the focus on the future that you're worried about. It's possible Virgo that, you know, you may not have clarity on, you know, where this connection is going, where you currently are at, you know, you may not be completely clear. You're waiting on something. Let's take you some clarifiers. You're the first one today. I feel a need to clarify. All right, Virgo, you're trying to be strong about something. Let's see. There is gonna be an apology from someone and it's gonna be very loving in nature. It's gonna be very kind. <clears throat> Either from you to this person or you to, or you know, that person to you. Tell me about this three of wands, please. page of cups so it's a lot of page energy a lot of communication reaching out okay so interestingly we have the king of pentacles and we have the queen of pentacles 
So, you know, I am showing that this is very likely an established relationship for, for many of you, but it does not have to be for all of you. Um, but it is very likely an established relationship. One of the two of you tends to be a little bit more reckless with regards to, you know, your actions in general because of this Knight of Wands energy. Um, the Knight of Wands is, is crossing our Ten of Cups. So I feel like somebody's a little bit reckless with, you know, the things they do, the things they say. They have a tendency to hurt the other person unintentionally. But they seem to have a lot of energy, a zeal for life, you know, kind of like a go-getter type of attitude. And it looks like that seems to have caused some hurt and some, some distance between the two of you. But like I said, you know, the two of you feel like very, very strong together. There's a strong connection here. There's a stable connection. There's one that has long-term potential if you're not currently in a long-term relationship. But... Um, with regards to, you know, this balance of, you know, what what is rational and what is emotional, we have the Fool and we have the Five of Wands in reverse. I feel like it's it's been a real strong internal struggle for you to get to a point where you feel like this is moving forward in a happy, enthusiastic type of way. Um, it's possible that if the two of you had a problem in the past, you've had to go, go through, you know, a period of difficulty to come to this point where things are new and fresh. So despite the fact that the fool tends to be a short term, you know, non-committal type of energy, the king and queen of pentacles are very much committal. They're very loyal hearts, very strong, you know, commitment based focused people. So it looks like with regards to forgiveness, we're going to have one person apologizing and the other person returning the communication in a very loving, sweet manner. The two of you are going to be able to find a way past your differences. Now, what you seem to be waiting on, Virgo, is you seem to be waiting on them to reach out to you and express something to you. So if you are in a long-term committed relationship or a marriage and something has occurred between the two of you, it looks like you're waiting for the other person to apologize. Let me encourage you to find a way towards peace without the expectation of what the other person should or should not do. Um, try to release the expectation so that the two of you can come to a, a point of compromise a little bit quicker. All right, let's see what we've got with regards to our romance angels. Yeah, see, pay attention to the red flags. I think, you know, the two of you have had a problem in the past. Um, you know, I think the two of you have had a problem in the past. I think your person's a little bit stubborn, strong-willed. I don't really see them coming forward right away. So you might need to, you know, bridge that gap. Get another one, please. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this, this point where the two of you are going to come to a point of forgiveness is coming up very quickly in the near future. They are the future cards, but um, you may want to try to look at things from a different perspective. Like I said, release the expectations. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you for the week. Have an absolutely beautiful week. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, 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 and I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.